a customer already. Do you like my van? You should be proud to eat my fish and chips. You see, it all began for my family in 1859. My great-great-grandfather was a potato salesman. I'd like to say he was the best in London, but he wasn't. He was terrible. In fact, he was the worst potato salesman in London. The very worst. He was awful. Really bad. He used to shout, Potatoes! Potatoes! Get your raw potatoes! Eat them while they're cold! Because he didn't have any way to heat them up and make them nice. See? Yeah, I think I damaged my spuds. This is it, thought great-great-grandfather Nathaniel. Success at last! Success at last! And that's how my great-great-grandfather, my great-great-grandmother, invented fish and chips. Of course, that's not the end of the story. Not by a long way. You heard the story about the first ever fish and chip shop? No? Well... There had never been a fish and chip shop before. Not like there have now. A proper chippy until a man from Lancashire by the name of Mr Lees had a very bright idea. The crowds had gathered and everyone was excited. Finally, the mayor said, I hereby declare the first fish and chip shop open! Of course, no one really knows what fish and chip shop opened first. But fish and chips would soon go to play a bigger part in British history than anyone ever dreamed!
What is it? I said, what is it? Mr Churchill, sir. Fish and chips have been rationed, like all other food. Don't you know there's a war on? Old Winston wasn't going to give up his favourite dinner. It's okay, lads! Fish and chips are back on the menu! And that's how Fish and Chips won the war. But Fish and Chips were to play an even bigger part in my life. And that's how my father met my mother. What do you think about that? Hurricane chips, please. <sighs> Some people. Enjoy! Enjoy.